Previously on this series, we visited an island full of bloodthirsty creatures who can put a brutal end to anyone who crosses their path. But today, we will be visiting the most dangerous island in the Jurassic Park franchise. Welcome to Isla Sorna, the host of some of the most brutal deaths ever seen, featuring a crazy roster of oversized and savage creatures that can erase you from history in a split second. Join us as we put four mischievous test subjects through extremely brutal simulations, all just to show you what could happen if you butt heads with any of these dinosaurs. This video will get pretty graphic, so make sure you sit back, hold on to your butts, and get ready to witness the absolute worst eight ways to die in Isla Sorda. Before we get started, we're quickly going to show you guys a fun little experiment we did with this product. Our sponsor Raycon provided us with these neat earbuds and dared us to put these to the test to see if they fall off. And they didn't. These things fit perfectly and are so comfortable that you'll forget they're on thanks to their really comfortable gel tips. Once you put these on, your everyday life will be enhanced with crisp, high-quality audio and last for a long time thanks to their 8-hour playtime and 32-hour battery life. The immersive experience is so good that it's no wonder they got spammed with 48,000 five-star reviews. So if you were planning to buy some other overpriced high-quality earbuds somewhere else, stop looking. Save your hard-earned money because Raycon will gear you up with the same high-quality sound experience at half the price of the other premium audio brands. But if this discount wasn't good enough for you, click on the link below or go to buyraycon.com slash goji to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. If you need new earbuds and inflation already wrecked your bank account, Raycon's got you. Thanks to Raycon for supporting this channel, and now let's get back to the episode. Whoa! Yo, what is this place, and why am I wearing this? Looks like some sort of facility. I don't like the look of this. Nah, this is gonna be exciting. Come on, guys. <clears throat> Welcome to the Goji Center simulation platform. You guys have been selected amongst thousands of applicants to serve as demonstration assets for a documentary. We ask that you stay put and please cooperate. Note that these are just simulations and you will be given the chance to respawn at the end of this session. The Goji Center Research Facility thanks you for your cooperation. No, what? shut the fuck up! Whoa, what did he mean by respawn? And hold on, hold on, hold on. This? No, 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 no. I don't want to do this anymore. He said we are in a Goji Center video. Do you have any idea what they do to people in Goji Center video? Number one, stampeded. If you've seen Jurassic Park The Lost World or Jurassic Park 3, you'll know that this place is full of herbivores. A lot of them. But the problem with there being a whole bunch is the possibility of being caught up in a stampede. Meet the Parasaurolophus and the Corythosaurus, hadrosaurids that coexisted in the open plains of Isla Sorna. A single one of these wouldn't do too much, but if you're stupid enough to casually walk in the middle of a herd of these and stir up trouble, prepare to die. Being in the middle of a stampede would make you run the risk of two things. Getting trampled, obviously, but also getting punted across the field while screaming in intense pain. Let us explain. We'll guess that many of you haven't seen a horse go right through a human being, but here it is. Sorry. Now, an animal that is well over 20 feet in length running at high speeds will do more than just send you flying, but break every single bone in your upper body, including your ribs. Now, there's more to this. Rib fractures such as these are known to penetrate the lungs themselves, flooding your lungs with blood. Oh, no, 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 no! This wasn't in the job description! You will be left on the floor unconscious from the shock, but won't be able to wake up due to your inability to breathe properly. Slowly but surely, you die. Unless you get stomped on the head, of course. Number two, nipped apart. Those of you who remember this film will also remember Dieter Stark and how he was sent to the afterlife in a very messed up way. The culprit? Compsognathus, or more commonly known as Compies, were one of the smallest dinosaurs in this franchise and also the most fragile. But don't let these little guys fool you. Together, these small dinosaurs can bring down something as large as you. 
These guys are armed with small but sharp teeth in their jaws, claws sharp enough to get a good grip on you, and friends that can cut you down one slice at a time. But the real killing comes after you eventually succumb to what is known as swarm tactics. The practice of literally swarming the prey or enemy until they are eventually overwhelmed and can't do anything about it. As we can see here, Dieter Stark fell prey to these little guys, not because they were stronger than him, but because there were more of them. A good number of these will eventually nip you until you bleed out. And eventually, after so much nipping, one copy will be able to cut into any one of your veins, which causes you to bleed much faster. Combined with your rapid heart beating, you'll lose consciousness in no time. Only for me at once. This is outrageous. Get this thing off me. Down you go, Dissenter. Number three, Claude. In the previous episode of this series, we were introduced to Isla Nublar's raptor variants. But one of the most interesting things about Isla Sorna is that it also housed different variations of velociraptors. In The Lost World, we were introduced to the tiger-patterned male raptors that lived in this zone of the island, and specialized in preying on animals that wandered too deep in these grassy flatlands. On the other end of this island, we find an even more peculiar breed. Raptors with a narrower snout, very sharp claws, and a really violent personality. Let's go back to the events of Jurassic Park 3 and use this dude as an example, Udeski. After getting ambushed and knocked down, this velociraptor handicapped Udeski by clawing him on the back. Wait, why am I on the floor? Someone help! It's that. Hey, <laughs> this guy this large claw was capable of piercing deep, possibly close to or into the left lung, leaving Udeski immobilized due to hemorrhagic shock, but not dead. These raptors left him alive in front of these people in an attempt to lure them down to the ground where they would get attacked. This failed, but the intentions were clear. After the humans were no longer a viable meal, this raptor finished off Udeski since he was no longer useful as bait. Brutal, right? The raptors on the other side of the island were no different, except these guys would lay low and ambush people using the cover of the tall grass, bagging people in astonishing numbers. Number 4, Bloody K.O. We're going back to herbivores for this one because the dinosaur we are about to show you will kill you faster than any raptor would. Meet the Pachycephalosaurus, a medium-sized dinosaur that could potentially measure up to 15 feet in length and be as tall as a human. But this animal doesn't need to be this large to send you packing. In the film Jurassic Park The Lost World, we catch a glimpse of a small to medium-sized patchy that was being captured by in-gen operatives, or an attempt at that. This animal's very thick skull is attached to the vertebrae from the bottom instead of the back, so when it lowers its head, it can absorb a much greater impact. In this episode, you will be on the other end of this impact. So, what can an impact such as this do to you? Let's bring in our test subject to demonstrate. Enough of this bullshit. I'm done. As you can see, a Pachycephalosaurus of this size would lower its head low enough to strike anything in this trajectory. What, what, what do you mean lowering its head? Why can't I move? All right, that's enough. Don't aim there, if man. If running at full speed, Someone something this dense thing. would easily crush job. through the pelvis, pulverize no, any no, organs no, around no, here, no, and again. cause trauma, oh, which would oh, most oh. likely rupture your intestines. This won't kill you, though. Any strike on the chest would knock the air out of you, sink your broken ribs into your chest, and stop your heart. This is how you die immediately. If this small patchy can blow a hole through this door, best believe he'll be looking right through your body after he's done with you. Number 5. Squashed While it is true that a lot of these long-necked dinosaurs in Jurassic Park can easily snuff your lights out, there's another dinosaur on this particular island that can squish you and also send you flying. Meet the Mementosaurus, oh, no. one of the largest sauropods in this franchise, which is capable of growing close to 100 feet in length, a lot of which is made up by its tail. But how can such a slow, lumbering creature kill someone? Easy. Although this film did not show us how this Mementosaurus bags people, this game does. Failure to accurately interrupt this animal's defecation will get you buried under a pile of sh**. Just kidding. <laughs> Observe how one Mementosaurus uses its full forward momentum to squish these guys inside this vehicle. 
This level, your objective is to avoid getting crushed by this animal's strong legs. Nah, I'm good. I quit. I Standing quit. in the way of this vertical trajectory means that you probably won't even feel I your quit. bones getting crunched to bits <laughs> once its leg makes contact with your skull. If getting stumped wasn't bad enough, these engineered Mamankosaurus had a long whip-like tail. Although different from the actual scientifically accurate Mamankosaurus, a whip like this is believed to be able to be swung so fast that the end of these tails could break the sound barrier. Meaning that being on the wrong side of this tail would tear you to pieces upon impact. The good news for you is that if you're hit on the right spots, you oh won't feel a thing. I don't want to do this anymore. Stop this right now. I'm calling my lawyer. No! Wait, no, don't, don't respawn this one, please. <laughs> Number six, chomped. You cannot be serious right now. Come on, you guys clearly lied in the job description. You know what? Screw this voluntary thing. I want to be paid. If this thing is going to eat me, I swear I'll report this place to the local authorities and shut you th This is the Ceratosaurus, an extremely intimidating looking animal but picky eater armed with a mouthful of teeth capable of cutting up and eating something such as you in one gulp. Had these guys not rubbed poop on them prior to this guy pulling up, they probably would have suffered the same fate as the dude who contributed to this pile of crap. Stay tuned to see what we are talking about. These muscular dinosaur jaws are wide enough to fit your entire upper body inside its mouth. Its strong neck muscles will allow this thing to rip your upper body up. Believe it or not, this method of killing won't kill you immediately. You'll be able to look down at your lower body getting ripped away as you slide down this animal's throat. Once you lose enough blood, you'll lose your consciousness and then die in pain. But there's another dinosaur in this island that actually kind of did this, but it was a lot more brutal. Number seven, ripped in half. But we just saw someone get torn up. No, but not like this guy. This unfortunate fella had the unlucky privilege of feeding not one, but two T-Rexes. In this section, we will discuss how this guy died and how it felt to die this way. If you saw the previous episode, you'll remember that we learned that a T-Rex wouldn't need to exert its entire bite force on a small human. A subtle bite would have done the trick. Same applies here. We're going to watch this in slow motion. First, we see how Eddie was lifted up with ease by his leg. And it just so happened that the T-Rex's teeth made contact with his tibia and fibula, possibly fracturing them both. Believe it or not, this was the most pain Eddie felt throughout this process. Why? Watch closely as he gets tossed midair and then with these huge jaws gets caught once again, but on the upper part of his body. Wait, no, come on, why do I have to play the part of Eddie? I deserve better than Having this. many 6 to 12 inch teeth puncturing these areas oh, would oh. very quickly shut you down. Luckily for Eddie, he didn't have to feel the other T-Rex grab his other leg and rip it off. At first glance, this looks like an excruciatingly painful way to go, and it was, but not for long. The next creature on this list will boast many more ways to kill. Before we continue on, and while we clean this mess, we're going to quickly go over some honorable mentions. In the previous episode, we discussed three dinosaurs with really messed up ways to cancel your family tree, but they also show up on this island, but different. Let's begin with Triceratops. While Nublar's trike specimens were up to 30 feet in length, these Triceratops were a whopping 35, just two feet shorter than the juvenile Rex from JP3. Another oversized dinosaur here is the Stegosaurus, which measures approximately 33 feet, but in Isla Sorna, this thing was as long as a T-Rex. Yes, you heard that right. This thing was huge and a bit more temperamental. Perhaps the most interesting of these variations is the Carnotaurus. This is what it looked like in Isla Nublar, but according to the novelization of The Lost World, there were a couple of Carnos that looked like this. And these were able to blend in with their surroundings, making them all the more dangerous. Check out the previous episode if you haven't to find out the gruesome ways these things could kill. Time to move on to the next dinosaur. Is it over? I hope so. This place sucks ass. Bunch of freaking commies doing commie bullshit. So, who here is not subscribed to Goji Center? 
Wait, no, 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 no. I was just kidding. I'm subscribed. Number eight, mutilated. In this island, there was one dinosaur whose mere existence disrupted the ecosystem of this entire biome, the Spinosaurus. During the events of Jurassic Park 3, it is mentioned that this Spinosaurus was well over 40 feet long, and fully grown, it could have measured even longer. No, no, you don't even have to lie anymore. You can't lie to me, you goji sensor people. I know what y'all finna do to me. Y'all gonna feed my ass to that Spino. Something very important to note is the fact that this Spinosaurus is completely different from the real world and scientifically accurate Spinosaurus we know today. This animal's shape and form has changed so much throughout the years that in a few days from now, this model will probably be outdated. The point is, because this Jurassic Park Spino was reconstructed in this fashion, it is much better equipped to hunt down and kill fast-moving prey and kill larger dinosaurs such as this T-Rex. Meaning that so far, this Spinosaurus is known to be the most dangerous dinosaur in this island. But let's go to the killing <clears throat> simulation platform. <laughs> Focus your attention on these two weapons, its long jaws and its large, sharp claws. These jaws are much longer than the T-Rex's, allowing it to catch little creatures such as you a bit more easily on a horizontal axis. You bastards, I hate to- <laughs> Which is what happened to Cooper. The fast snap of these jaws would immediately crush your ribs and vertebrae. Your organs, including your heart, would have been obliterated due to the shock of these jaws snapping shut. But this animal has other ways to kill. Take a look at the size of these claws. A single claw is large enough to pierce a hole through your upper body, and with the force behind the blow, your corpse would be torn apart with a single strike. But the real reason why this dinosaur is on top of this list is the fact that running away from this animal is almost impossible. In this franchise, the Spinosaurus proved to be a vengeful creature, chasing these humans through land and water until it was finally repelled by fire. What other dinosaurs in this franchise do you think are more dangerous than the Spinosaurus? Do you think we will see something truly stronger than the T-Rex, the Indominus, and the Spino? Let us know in the comments! Please make sure to subscribe to be the first to be notified when we drop the next video in this series. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next video!